In this video, we're going to explain what defrag is, why it's generally a bad idea to turn it on and run it yourself, and you'll understand at the end of this why most forums and websites have it wrong. Okay, so, so that's a really simple answer to just say don't defrag your SSDs, but the truth is a lot more nuanced. So let's get started with what does defrag event actually do? Well, almost everybody knows that when you have a spinning disk, it's a great idea to defragment the drive because files are not stored in one contiguous piece. Files are split up into thousands of little pieces. Having a mechanical read and write head on a drive, bounce all over the drive trying to find the next piece, wastes time, electricity, where's the drive? It's just not a good thing. So if you defrag, it puts them all back together. So should I defrag my own SSD? Look, solid state disks are literally just memory chips. And as such, they have no read or write heads. They have no mechanical parts moving back and forth. And so there's very little delay in pulling data from different parts of the quote drive, unquote. So Crucial, which is one of the world's largest manufacturers of SSDs, explains it this way. Defragging ensures that large files are stored in one continuous area of the hard disk so that the file can be read in one go. Mechanical drives, have a relatively long seek period of about 15 milliseconds. This really adds up when you've got files split into thousands of different fragments. However, this isn't an issue with SSDs because the seek time in an SSD is about 0.1 milliseconds. It's 150 times faster, so you won't really notice any benefit. Okay, but that leaves three questions. One, why is defragging an SSD a bad idea, not just neutral? Secondly, does Windows 10 and Windows 11 defrag my drive automatically? I'm pretty sure it does. And thirdly, what does the Windows 11, Windows 10 SSD optimization do? So let's rip through those. So first, defragmenting an SSD is generally a very bad idea because SSDs are memory and they wear out with use. And defrag moves a lot of files. That's a lot of use. So given that there's virtually no performance increase from defragmenting an SSD, there's almost nothing but downside to doing it. So just don't. So that gets to the second question of, well, is Windows 10, Windows 11 defrag? Well, okay, mostly no. Windows 10 and Windows 11 still have a defrag utility, but it's now smart enough to flag SSDs and disable the defrag. However, once a month, Windows automatically considers, and that's a big word, considers, harshly defragmenting an SSD if there is exceptional fragmentation that is approaching what's called a maximum fragmentation threshold. After that threshold is reached, the metadata for the fragmented files exceeds what the SSD can handle, and that causes it to stop reading and writing. Obviously not a good thing. So Microsoft carefully runs this defrag in the rare situation where potentially problematic files exist. What does Windows 11, Windows 10 SSD optimization actually do then? Well, when a file is deleted on an SSD, the memory cells, yeah, the physical cells inside the memory chips are simply flagged as available to be overwritten, but that data still exists. And unlike an old spinning disk, SSDs cannot write data into their memory cells if something's already in that space. So SSDs run a command named trim to actively go in and delete the data in the memory cells that are flagged as garbage. So the way to think of this is trim is just like popping bubbles to make the, the space available again. Without the trim command, your SSD would simply fill up until it was 100% maxed out. So back in 2008, 2009, when SSDs started you know, coming out, they didn't wait for software tools to trim off the garbage. They had auto trim running right on the SSD. Well, at least the better ones did. Today, virtually all of them have it. In fact, I don't know of one that doesn't. The point is that the junk gets removed automatically and quickly, right at the hardware level. However, if you look at Windows 10 and Windows 11, you'll find an old disk utility that used to do little more than defrag still exists, and it's called Optimized Drives. So today, if Windows detects an SSD, the Analyze button becomes grayed out. And that's because it relates to defrag. And users, and that's a big word there, users, you, should not be defragging an SSD. But there's still an optimization button, or an optimize button more accurately. And that really seems to confuse people. 
We've seen more than one person go into their scheduled tasks and turn it off. Not a good idea. The optimize button in Windows does exactly what you think. It optimizes the drive. <laughs> and really what that's doing is simply running another trim command to ensure that all of the junk is gone. If you care about the technical detail, this is cleverly called the retrim command. And this may lead you to wonder how an SSD could screw up its own trimming if it's done at the hardware level. Surely that's the best place to do it. Well, it turns out that SSD manufacturers are really concerned about the performance that you experience. And their controllers can only handle so many commands at once. If an SSD is busy and a pile of trim commands are sent to the SSD, you know, say because you delete a ton of files, it might max out its buffer and drop some of those trim commands. That's very bad because unless those memory cells are flushed, you know, the balloons are popped with the trim command, they can't be reused. So over a long period of time, your SSD could become increasingly consumed by old data that just didn't get deleted. Windows optimization uses the retrim command slowly. So it does not max out that command buffer and it makes sure that it gets it all. So the summary of defrag, disk optimization, trim and retrim goes like this. For all of the reasons we've already explained, it is important that you, number one, do not run defrag on your SSDs, but you do not disable Windows disk optimization. <laughs> the moral of the story is just leave Windows to defragment the rare file it needs to and to optimize, which is sending that retrim command. And hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like. It really helps with the Google algorithms. Subscribe is also super appreciated. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as uh, we can, or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.